In feature films, everything doesn't always go according to plan for the groom when a bride is shown. Sometimes she runs away, sometimes she acts more firmly. I found a total of 12 scenes from 1930 to 2022, plus three bonus clips that were not from feature films. Let's start with the latest film, Shotgun Wedding. It's actually a bit atypical because Jennifer Lopez, as the bride, is not running away from her groom but from a gang of criminals. And the film is definitely not a diamond in Jennifer Lopez's film career. Because the critics considered it a failed attempt at a romantic action comedy. It also only ranks at number 182 in the 2022 annual box office charts. That's a long way to the top 100 and light years away from the top 10. Maybe Jennifer Lopez's biggest flop. This short clip is not from a feature film. It is an excerpt from the documentation of a wedding that actually took place. However, this happened on August 4th, 2020. The explosion disaster in Beijing. You can hide anywhere. We then Ready or Not is a so horror comedy film. Win, it right? follows Grace, a bride, <laughs> who marries into a wealthy family. On her wedding night, she is forced to play a deadly game of hide-and-seek where her in-laws hunt her. Grace must thing? survive until dawn while discovering the family's dark and secrets. The feature film is not a blockbuster either, but it's still ranked at number 106 in the 2019 annual cinema charts and therefore significantly better than Shotgun Wedding with Jennifer Lopez. Damn it, Emily! I don't know what I'm doing! And today's video is called... Getting to Know Your Crossbow. Geronimo is a vibrant drama set in a multicultural suburb of southern France. She tries to prevent a gang war ignited by a forbidden romance between a Turkish girl and a Romani boy. As you might have guessed, Geronimo didn't make it into the top 200 of the 2014 annual box office charts. But The Princess Diaries 2 did it. In 2004, the Anne Hathaway movie came in at number 39. This is the best result in this compilation so far. This groom smiles too soon. He doesn't know what's coming yet. But we do. Yes, the old man on the right was the dwarf from Lord of the Rings. Is this part of the plan? Nope. I... <clears throat> I'm going to need a minute or two. Thank you, Your Highness. <laughs> now the bride is moving. Honey, you know it. Well, the bride runs away scenes are usually from romance films, or at least romantic comedies. Of course it's different with Quentin Tarantino. Kill Bill is largely without jokes. And this sequence is a bit atypical because the bride has already run away from Bill. Unfortunately without success. Speaking of success, Kill Bill reached number 27 on the annual box office charts. Unfortunately, it's never good when a resentful, jealous ex-boyfriend can track down his partner who has run away. We'd better switch to the next sequence at this point. This bride is not running away, 
But things don't end well for Patrick Dempsey either, who plays the groom. Reese Witherspoon actually only has to sign the divorce papers from her first marriage, a mere formality that everyone thought Reese Witherspoon could casually sign at her new wedding. Well, that was a wrong assumption. Okay, while Patrick here has to put on a I good don't. face about the evil game, no. let's see how Sweet Home Alabama no, did at the box office. Not Surprisingly good, actually. The film came in at number 26 in the annual box office the charts. Jennifer Lopez didn't even come close to that with her The Bride Ruins the Wedding films. However, there was a much more successful wedding film in 2002, namely My Big Fat Greek Wedding, which made it into the top 10 of the annual cinema charts albeit with difficulty. And you shouldn't want to marry me. Wow. So this is what this feels like. That's it? You're just gonna let her humiliate you with some bullshit? Ready for one more Jennifer Lopez movie? Okay, here it is. But in this particular scene, Jennifer Lopez only appears as a spoil sport, trying to steal Bridget Wilson's groom. Was this a big hit at the box office? Well, the honest answer is, half. Wedding Planner came in at number 46 in the 2001 annual cinema charts. trying to dump me on the day of my right, wedding. I'm not trying to dump you. I no, just no, this is not happening to me. No, this is not happening to me. This is not... Don't franny me! Don't franny me, you stupid bastard! Come here. Hey, listen, the reasons we were together in college don't hold up anymore. Right? We're different people now. Many people perceive Runaway Bride as a cheap imitation of Pretty Woman. And this despite the fact that the story has a completely different plot than the great romantic film of 1990. This time Richard Gere plays a journalist who, while doing his research, falls in love with a bride who loses her nerve at the altar and runs away. It was badly panned by critics, but it would become the seventh most successful film of 1999. When you read the title of this video, you probably had two specific classic scenes in mind. I bet this sequence is one of them. Am I right? The bride is walking down the aisle. Maggie Carpenter is walking down the aisle. Oh, she's pausing. Keep eye contact. Stay with me. Please be seated. Thank you. I sneaked in a camera. We are gathered here today. Please, no cameras now. Could we hold off photos until the end of the ceremony? Thank you. We are gathered here today. No. Uh, where is she going? Don't. Lock the door! Please be seated. Oh, 
Therefore, if any man can show any just cause why they may not lawfully The bride's most together, common reaction so far has been to flee completely hereafter, disappointed. Forever, but of course there is another way. In this classic movie, which reached number 22 in the annual cinema charts in 1994, sorry, no. the bride finds a more tangible solution. Yes, what is it? One, one, one second. What's going on, Charles? Charles, what? He wants me to d translate what he's saying. What is he saying? He says, I suspect the groom is having doubts. I suspect the groom would like to delay. I suspect the groom... I suspect the groom... What's he saying? He says... He suspects the groom... Love someone else. Do you? Do you love someone else? Do you, Charles? I do. I don't want to get married. Terrific. That makes two of us. Will you unzip me? Sure. Now we come to by far the most successful feature film, in which the bride ruins the groom's day. Smokey and the Bandit actually peaked at rank two on the annual box office charts in 1977. Maybe you're now asking yourself, what was the frontrunner in 1977? Well, may the mind be with you, and you'll find the solution. Unfortunately, as far as the annual cinema going? charts are concerned, no, no, the guess. box office mojo database ends in 1977. So, I could actually move on to the next there film, but maybe Quentin Tarantino will watch this clip, so let's better leave this foot scene in there. Think of it as a wedding posse in search of a bride. Do you understand that, cowboy? Yeah. What are you doing? These are my shoes. Oh, yeah. And these are my legs. Yeah. What are you going to do with them? With the shoes or the legs? Last time I saw legs like that, they had a message tied to them. What do you mean? These are great little legs. I'm a professional. Well, in that case, you shouldn't be dressed in white. Dancer. Oh. And here we come to the second sequence, which you probably already thought of from the title. At least the slightly older ones among us. The Graduate was the big film success at the Oscars in 1967. As I already mentioned, the IMDb database unfortunately only goes back to 1977. However, anyone can view at least the 10 most successful films of each year on Wikipedia. And in fact, Dustin Hoffman with his first major role achieved a formidable number one hit. What an iconic ending. We'll watch this until the end. Hello darkness, my old friend I've come to talk with you again Because a vision softly creeping Left its seeds while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain Still remains within the sound of silence in the 
restless dreams I walk alone Narrow streets of cobblestone With a halo of a street line I turn my collar to the cold and down Well, sometimes you have to be forced. Both main actors, Clark Gable, who does not appear in this scene, and Claudette Colbert, had no interest at all in taking part in It Happened One Night. From today's perspective, this seems quite understandable. We see slow cuts, hardly any camera panning, it seems boring, right? In fact, both stars were extremely lucky that the director insisted they take part. Both receive an Oscar for their performances. And the feature film ended the year in third place. Now let's move on to the oldest film in this series. When almost everyone thinks of The Runaway Bride, the feature film with Julia Roberts come in mind. In fact, there is a much older one from 1930. Mary is locked in a cheap hotel room by her good-for-nothing groom Dick, while Dick is looking for a priest for the wedding ceremony. It would have been better if he hadn't left her alone. She escapes, solves a jewelry robbery, and finds the great love of her life in Rich George. The film was not a huge success, nor did it stand the test of time. Unfortunately, I only found a few photos. Did I miss a movie? Definitely more than one. For example, a friend pointed out the wedding scene from Shrek to me. The groom has nothing to laugh about either. The feature film was released in cinemas in 2001 and made it to number four in the annual cinema charts. First of all, very clean. What are you doing here? Really, it's rude enough being alive when no one wants you, but showing up uninvited to a wedding- Fiona, I need to talk to you. Oh, now you want to talk? Well, it's a little late for that, so if you'll excuse me- But you can't marry him! And why not? Because- Because- Well, a little discussion and fighting later- Fiona! I'll have you locked back in that tower for the rest of your days! Oh. I'm I will have order! I will have perfection! I will have... All right, nobody move. I got a dragon here and I'm not afraid to use it. I'm a donkey on the edge! Uh. <laughs> Celebrity man.